Hi everyone, let's talk about cyclic quadrilateral. And let's demonstrate this lesson by using this problem. In a quadrilateral ABC, ABC equals 15, side BC equals 20, side CD is 24, and side DA equals 7. And the diagonal AC is equal to 25. Let angle ACB be equal to alpha, and let angle ABD be equal to beta. What is the value of tangent of alpha plus beta? Let's visualize this problem first. What we are given is a quadrilateral with side AB equals 15 units. So let these two points be points A and B, and let the side AB be equal to 15 units. Then side BC is given to be 20 units, side CD is equal to 24, and side DA is equal to 7. Then let's connect diagonal AC, and AC is given to be equal to 25, and let's connect diagonal BD. We do not know the measure of diagonal BD. Now let's locate angle ACB. Let's consider this triangle, and angle alpha is this angle. So this is angle alpha, that is angle ACB. Then angle ABD, so angle ABD is this angle, and let's denote that to be equal to beta. So we have this angle alpha here, and you have this angle beta here. We want to find the value of tangent of alpha plus beta. Now what can we do with this problem? Notice that the measures of the side of triangle ABC are 20, 15, and 25. What's important about this measurement? Notice that 15, 20, 25 form what we call as a Pythagorean triple. So we have 15, 20, 25, which we can reduce into a 3, 4, 5 Pythagorean triple by dividing each one of the sides by 5 units. And when the combination of the lengths of the side of a triangle form this Pythagorean triple, our conclusion is that the triangle is a right triangle. So we therefore now say that triangle ABC is a right triangle with angle B equal to 90 degrees. Let's look at this other triangle ADC. What are the measures of the sides? We have 25 for the hypotenuse, we have this 24, and we have this 7. And this 7, 24, 25 also form a Pythagorean triple because this will satisfy the formula 7 squared plus 24 squared is equal to 25 squared. And our conclusion again is triangle ADC is also a right triangle with a right angle at angle ADC. So, Let's review that. We have two right triangles here. This angle ADC and this angle ABC are both right angles. And when these two opposite angles of a quadrilateral are supplementary, 90 plus 90 is 180 degrees, then this quadrilateral now is what we call as a cyclic quadrilateral. Here's the definition. A convex quadrilateral ABCD is cyclic if and only if its opposite angles are supplementary. Now, since we have just proven that angle ADC is 90 degrees, angle ABC is 90 degrees, then angle ABC and angle ADC, which are opposite angles of the quadrilateral, are indeed supplementary angles. And so our conclusion is this quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral. But what is a cyclic quadrilateral? A cyclic quadrilateral is simply a quadrilateral that can be inscribed in a circle. Meaning this vertex A, vertex D, vertex C, and vertex B are all tangent to the circle. Not all quadrilaterals can be inscribed in a circle. And when it happens that a quadrilateral can be inscribed in a circle, that quadrilateral is what we now call as a cyclic quadrilateral. Now, knowing that this quadrilateral is cyclic, let's go back to the main question. Find the value of the tangent of the sum of the angles alpha plus beta. So let's recall that the sum identity for the tangent function is given to be tangent of alpha plus beta equals tangent alpha plus tangent beta 
all over 1 minus tangent alpha times tangent beta. So we need to know what is the value of tangent alpha and the value of tangent beta. From this diagram, we know that triangle ABC is a right triangle. And so we can easily find what is tangent of this angle alpha. Tangent is the ratio of the opposite side to the adjacent side. So the opposite side is 15 units and the adjacent side is 20 units. Therefore, tangent of alpha is 15 over 20. Now for the angle beta, we cannot just do the same. We cannot just do the opposite over the adjacent because triangle ABD is not a right triangle. But notice that angle ABD and angle ACD are both subtended by arc AD. This implies that this angle beta must be equal to angle ACD, this angle here. Because these two angles intercepted the same arc, or conversely, arc AD subtended these two angles, beta and angle ACD. So, this angle here must be equal to this angle. And this is relevant because we know that triangle ADC is a right triangle. So that means, if this is the right angle here, the tangent of angle ACD, this angle, is the ratio of the opposite side, which is a measure of 7, and the adjacent side, whose measure is 24 units. And so we now say that tangent of beta, this angle, is equal to tangent of angle ACD, and that value is 7 over 24. So we now have the value for tangent of beta. So at this point, it's just a matter of substituting these two values to this identity. And let's do that now. So using this formula, our tangent alpha is 15 over 20. This tangent beta is 7 over 24. All over 1, so you have this one, minus tangent alpha, which is 15 over 20. So this part is 15 over 20 times tangent of beta, which is 7 over 24. And simplifying further, the numerator can be simplified as 25 over 24. And the denominator is now simplified as 25 over 32. And then simplifying this complex fraction, we arrive at a value of 4 over 3. And this is now the value of tangent of alpha plus beta in this given problem. So thank you very much and we hope you learned something today. This is Lando Assistant and I wish to see you again in our next video. Bye for now.